We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Uh, moving on to Josh Pollard from the Digital Media Zone. Yeah. Uh, Josh's old Pioneer receiver has given up the ghost. It's having weird issues where it's repeating remote commands all on its own. So, for <laughs> example, if you turn up the volume a few clicks a minute or so later, it'll decide to keep turning the volume up as though you're still hitting the button on the remote. That's problematic. <laughs> it is. He had that problem. <laughs> oh, wow. It, it was a noticeable problem. Oh, whoa. Uh, since it's uh, old enough that it doesn't even offer any HDMI inputs, he figures it's time for an upgrade. Yeah. Uh, however, this is for a living room that is never going to use more than a 5.1 setup. I know that feeling. Uh, no dual subs. I might get dual subs one day, though. Mm -hmm. uh, no dual subs, no Atmos, nothing fancy. He does have a 2016 Vizio M series, though, so being able to pass through 4K and HDR is important. Yes. Uh, yes, very. Uh, he figures he should be able to go to accessories for less and get a receiver that fits his needs for under 300. Any reason he couldn't just get the cheapest 5.1 receiver they offer? Any specific model he should look for? Uh, I would think you could easily find that, and I'd probably say Yamaha, and I look down here at Rob's recommendations he's written <laughs> in the show notes, and guess what? Yamaha for days. Yes. Yep. So there's the one reason why you shouldn't just simply go for the cheapest 5.1 receiver that they have, and that is Dolby Vision. Yeah. Because the Vizio M series does support Dolby Vision, but not all AV receivers support passing through a Dolby Vision signal, mm. which would be a nice thing to be able to do. I mean, as long as it's still meeting all his other needs and not costing more than $300, why not have that feature as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, thanks to Scott Wilkinson over at AVS Forum, uh, he put up his excellent article about which receivers already have or have announced that they will be getting Dolby Vision pass-through support via a future firmware update. Uh, there are uh, several models. So there's some Onkyos, some Denon, some Yamahas. Now, the other reason I'm saying to maybe look at a Yamaha is because I think, this is my personal opinion, that when you get to these uh very inexpensive entry level receivers uh you still want an auto setup program yeah yeah and yeah. if you're gonna have one i'd like it to be at least moderately half decent yes <laughs> and, and at the lowest prices i think yamaha's ypow automated setup while not the greatest thing ever or something i'm like it's competent yes it does the job it does it pretty decently it's not something i would tell you to turn off like Onkyo's AccuEQ, which right, I would tell you right. to just not use. Yeah, or... my, my little YPAL setup uh, is great. I have, you know, not the lowest yeah. in Yamaha, but it's just a one position, and I tweaked it manually a little bit to get yep. the results I wanted, and it sounds fantastic. But it gets you your distances, your yeah. levels. The EQ it does is not harmful to the sound. So yeah, no. I favor Yamaha in here. Now, their RX V383 is add accessories for less. It doesn't pass Dolby Vision right this second, but it's been announced that it'll get the firmware update to do that. I'm impressed at that price. It's 210 bucks. $210, right? Yeah. So the, the cheapest one, I think, was $170. It was like an Onkyo that was $170. But I'm like, that one didn't pass Dolby Vision. Uh, I don't think it even had AccuEQ. I think it had no auto setup whatsoever. No. Yeah, you know, so I'm like... 40 bucks 40 bucks gets you some niceties especially that dolby vision pass through mm -hmm. so i'm like i think i we, we checked all the boxes we're certainly under 300 dollars. so that's the one now they do also have their rxv 483 and what that adds versus the 383 is it gives you a uh, wi-fi built in and yamaha's music cast system which is mm. their whole house wireless audio system right so the 383 doesn't have that 383 doesn't have wi-fi built in it doesn't have music cast if those features are interesting uh then what is it it's slightly more than 300 320 320 okay mm -hmm. so if you want those features we're not going drastically over the budget but yeah i would look at those yamaha the 383 or the 483 those check the box man it sounds to me like that 383 is right up his alley that yeah great... i mean that's more or less what I, unless for he really wants wi-fi you know then. yeah the 483 i've just i've just been a yamaha fan for ages so yeah i'm happy oh, to yeah, see yeah. that as a recommendation yeah. all right there you go josh want your question answered send it to 
question at avrant.com. A.V. Rant. Now go out and listen to something.